Hello there everybody, it's your good old pal Nathan Man back with you. So today I'm going to show you all how to dethatch your lawn. Sorry guys, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm just outside trying to take in this nice weather. It's really sunny. So guys, I like to use a rake like this. It is called a fan rake. So that is kind of what it's all about, to get rid of all this stuff. You can clearly see when you look at an area that I just scruffed up versus an area that I didn't scruff up. It's really all about trying to get rid of the thatch. You don't want to get rid of all of the thatch, but just some of it. And it's all about getting airflow into your lawn. To let it dry up. Just like how I said with the snow mold. Now that that's done though guys, I want you guys to go and get your lawn mower. And I want you to start it up and put your bag on. Cut it at whatever height your last time you cut your lawn, your lawn at before the winter. Say it was two inches or two and a half inches. Cut it at that height and put your bag on and let's suck up all this stuff now that it's all loosened off. You guys will not believe how much your lawn mower will suck up once you loosen all this up. If you don't want to do that though, you guys can just aggressively rake like I just did and just pick it all up like this. It's up to you guys though, but either way works. Just thought I'd show you guys real quick. Here's some more snow mold. There's a really good clump of it. I can see it more now as the snow melts. But like I said in my previous video, it's all about getting that airflow in there. If you've been keeping up to date with my videos, you'll see. It's all about getting the airflow. Mold grows when nothing is drying out. Look at that pile, guys. Isn't that huge? That's not even from my entire lawn. That's only from about maybe a half of it. So if you guys are seeing stuff like this, give you a little size comparison. There's the size of my rake. If you're seeing stuff like this, you know that you're doing something right. Up north, we're gonna get more thatch. When you're down in the south, it's more about just getting the areas that are flattened by the snow or whatever. But you guys will see. If you do this, I guarantee you guys are going to start seeing some positive results in your lawn. Well guys, that is about it. Um, if you learned anything new about dethatching a lawn, then please give it a big like for more content. Leave a comment everybody. Also if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit that bell. And also everybody, share it with your friends and family. So alright guys, until next time, wow that sun is bright, it's awesome. Until next time guys, I will see you then, bye.